The auto shotgun is one of those weapons in Crab Champions that I kind of just always find myself falling into the exact same build every single time I use it. Now, does this mean that this build is the best option for this weapon? Yes. Yes, it does. I'm always right. You're always wrong. Shut the f*** up, all right? Anyways, guys, we are indeed diving deeper and deeper into the weapons for these build guides, and it is time to talk about the auto shotty, the auto shotgun. Before we get into it, go on, do the thing, like the video, maybe even consider subscribing so you don't miss any future build guides, dev updates, or crazy challenge run gameplay. Now let's get into it. The build that I'm referring to here is none other than the critical hit build that I've done before in the past, if you've seen the past videos on this weapon. Critical hits are one of the only real guaranteed ways to scale your damage long term for those longer runs and even in a shorter quick 30 to 60 island run they're incredibly strong so that is going to be our primary focus here for this auto shoddy weapon uh, this does leave room for you to kind of pick and choose what you want to focus on for your secondary build maybe even a tertiary build options going on but uh I truly believe that this weapon thrives the most when you focus on critical hits. So naturally, we got some critical hit related weapon mods that we're going to be focusing on here. I'm a big fan of Sharpshooter. It's a small but consistent buff to your critical hit chance. You've also got Power Punch, which increases the damage of your critical hits. If you're feeling a little bit more ballsy, you're more confident in the game, or you just have a lot of health and it's not a big deal, take Hot Shot. It's a larger increase in critical hit chance than Sharpshooter, but incoming damage is also increased. A little bit of a positive and a negative, very similar to how a greed perk would work. We've also got some more advanced critical related uh, epic and legendary mods here. We've got Mega Crit. Crits themselves do two and a half times base damage. I think I've said that wrong in the past where I said it was 3x, but they do two and a half x. Uh, Mega Crit is those criticals will now be three times as strong. So now it's whatever two and a half times three is, which is like seven and a half percent. Seven and a half times. It's pretty strong. Pretty damn strong. That's going to have critical link and critical blast these ones are great critical link when you get a critical hit it will spawn five additional projectiles that will target nearby enemies and that just starts to get the uh, crowd control going you can really take out hordes pretty quickly with that and that does scale very fast as you stack it critical blast is similar when you get a critical hit there's an explosive blast and that scales up very high as well critical blast does have a cooldown I do not think Critical Link does. And finally, there is that legendary weapon mod, like I mentioned earlier, called Critical Blades. It's a short cooldown, but basically on critical hits, there will be those spinning blades that spawn, similar to the legendary grenade mod that also has blades. It's not super, super, super strong, but if you find it, you might as well take it. It does rack up a lot of damage and can help you out in those hordes, uh, just like Critical Link and Critical Blast. And obviously, you can't neglect generic or normal damage boosting mods so sharp shot damage shot even accelerating shot or spiral shot really whatever you like uh, i don't really mind spiral shot or even zigzag or snake shot with the shotgun i do dislike chaotic shot though for this one moving into perks though we really only have one critical related perk and that is critical thinking this one is not really something that i would mess with until your critical hit chance is very high so what it does is it increases the damage of your critical hits while simultaneously decreasing the damage of your non-critical hits so you want to have 75 percent or higher percentage chance of uh criticaling right so that the vast majority of your shots will be critical and they'll take advantage of this buff instead of you know just having lower damage of your non-critical hits right it, it's a little bit of a later on in the build type item to get but if you can find it if you have that high critical chance then it is strong broken record here but guess what there are damage increasing perks that you're going to want as well the same old that we always talk about really just get whatever you can find but i'm a huge fan of getting armor builds going so naturally we have power armor and damage combo because your can't combo can be uh protected by having armor now if you're not really finding a lot of damage chests or damage portal options or critical portals then this is going to be a pretty tough build to get going you you're kind of looking for those but this does open opportunities to kind of start focusing on your secondary and tertiary builds here. You know, you want to throw an element or two in there? Yeah, do it, man. Poison is never a bad idea. It's still the strongest element by a freaking long shot. If you want some more fire rate, you want to get a full auto, full auto, full auto shoddy going, a machine shoddy. 
yeah, knock yourself out. Find some juiced. Find some uh, maybe uh, light shot. That does decrease your damage a little bit, but increases your fire rate. Supercharge. Knock it out of the park with that uh, fire rate. You even want to maybe find additional projectiles. You want to say, hey, shotgun, fire six pellets. That's great. I want more, baby. Fine. Fuck it. Split shot, scatter shot, targeting shot, all of those are nice. Now, I don't normally talk about stuff to avoid, but I, I gotta say it here. You're running a shotgun. This is the auto shotgun, like I just mentioned, six projectiles. There are mods that are epic and legendary rarity that reduce the amount of shots for shotguns, like triple shot, which only fires three shots. But if you're a shotgun, you fire six. That's actually a downgrade. Same thing for X shot. X shot is an X pattern, but it's only five. That's still a downgrade. It, X shot might be legendary, but it's not gonna help you out here. Even arc shot. Arc shot, I think, is an arc of seven. That's technically one more, but then it's spread out in a wide horizontal arc, and then you just kind of lose your accuracy and you lose the advantage of some of the things we've had. You know, we're, we're trying to inflict a lot of damage on big, chunky enemies and then have the critical blast and critical link be the thing that kind of spreads out and hits multiple. We don't want to spread out even more. That said, if you already have a split shot, maybe a scatter shot, you could probably still rock arc shot. I've definitely done it before, but I, I, I typically avoid it. So that one's a little bit of a hit or miss. And then definitely avoid heavy shot or anything that really makes your shots heavier. The whole reason you want to use the auto shoddy as opposed to the dual shoddy, uh, besides of course the ADS slow motion ability that you have since it's a single weapon, is the range. The auto shotgun has a surprisingly long range. It's, it's medium even long range for some uh, enemies here. And heavy shot drastically reduces this. It instantly adds a bunch of gravity, basically, additional gravity to your projectiles. They're heavier, and they just go right down. It turns it from a long to medium range weapon into a medium to short range weapon, and that's that's bad. That, we do not want that. It's only like a 50% damage increase for heavy shot at level 1. That's not really that high. It's, it sounds high on paper, but I mean, hell, you can get like spiral shot or some of those other ones that are about 50. I know one of those in there is only 25, but you get the point. You can get your damage boost from better weapon mods and better perks than something like Heavy Shot. So yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the critical hit auto shoddy build. I've used this a lot of times. In fact, almost every single time I bust out the auto shotgun, I end up going critical. So we, we got to be onto something. It's worked for me so well. It'll work for you as well. We're rhyming the word well with well. Oh my God, we're killing it out here, baby. We're killing it. So yeah, that's all we got. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe. We've got a handful more of these to go through and tons of challenge runs and just crazy gameplay for you in store here. I'm gonna leave now. Have a good one. See you guys later. Bye-bye now. Bye. Adios. Stop the recording. Goodbye.